Hello everyone, welcome to this Blender tutorial. I'm Kinars and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint skin. So, I'll try to make this as quick as possible as well as simple. Make sure you have your fill brush selected and you want to choose your base skin color. Red, green, and blue. Okay. And after you have your base skin color, you want to choose a reddish kind of color, a bluish kind of color, and a yellowish kind of color. Now these three colors right here are going to play a role in us painting our skin because the red colors are going to be for the flesh, fleshy kind of areas anyway. The yellow parts are going to be kind of like around the collarbone and the blue parts are going to be kind of around the eyebrows and stuff. So first off, I'm going to fill this in. Okay. So next, we're going to go to texture draw. All right. So with our red selected, I have yellow selected for whatever reason. With our red selected, we're going to change the strength of our brush down to 0 0.1. All right. And I'm going to resize my brush. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to start painting over the cheeks. Now, the reason why I chose the brush strength for the B.1 is so it could be light and not too dark. You want your saturations to be very, very light. So that way, whenever you go over it, you can add on to it if it's a darker skin person or even if it's a lighter skin person, you can use less. However you want to do it. You want your cheeks to be red, but not too red. All right. So, zoom in again. Catch the nose. All right. Catch the lips. This way, by us going over it so so light, and we add the other colors on, it'll be very easy. And we just go right over them. And that makes it very, very easily. Okay, zoom out. I want to choose the neck. Put a pen on next. Or at least the throat part of the neck. back in the front view okay so after we've painted our red we're gonna go over to the yellow okay this yellow is going to be for the areas of the bones I'm sorry area that's close to the bones such as the collarbone also the clavicle however you want to call it eyebrows and the back of the head okay so I'm going to zoom in, start painting around the eyebrows, roll, go all the way down, oop, going too far out, oop, catch the collarbone, somewhat of it. Go back up, color the nose. It's kind of hard to see, but you don't want it to be too, too hard. And as you can see, it's actually all starting to come together a bit. Now, depending on the weight of your character, if your character has very, very prominent cheeks, you also want to pin over there with some yellow. As you can see, mine has some kind of sort of hard cheeks, so I'm going to mix those two in. And give it a little orange color in there. There we go. And of course, can't forget the skull. And if you need to. Zoom out. And the good thing about painting this way, you go around your mesh and see the whole thing. Instead of having to see everything in 2D. Bring this up a little bit.
Okay. That'll be enough for right now. I catch a little bit up here. Okay. So now, we're going to take that blue, which would be this. And we're going to paint in the areas that are pits, which the eyes are pitted in. Now, this character is not old, but if this character was old and had a lot of wrinkles, which the wrinkles are a little faded right there, so I'm just going to catch a little bit like that. And if this was a mirror character, you can just catch all the way down here around the jawline. Because with me, because of that 5 o'clock shadow, we have little blue color zones. So basically, all this is. It's just painting the color zones of the skin. And what the color zones of the skin are, it's basically the red, blues, and yellows of the skin. It's basically like a simplified version of something that's so complex. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of that blue, making it kind of look a little manly. <laughs> we don't want that. All right. So I'll just catch right here. Okay. You can also go on the side view. I'm going to get on the inside of the ears with this. All right. So now we have our color zones in. So what's next? Well, after we have the color zones in, go back out a little bit. Choose a white color. And we're going to start painting over that. Make sure there's white. Well, let me see. Let's use, we could just use this like that. This white. We get rid of some of those saturation a little bit in it, if you have any at all, and make it a little bit more white. All right. You don't want to do it too much because you still want those same colors in there because you have to be able to see those colors through the skin. Because every skin that you see has some form of red, some form of yellow in it, and a little bit of blue. All right. So after that's done, Tape. We're going to sample our skin, the original skin, by holding S. Just drag your mouse around it. And we're going to use a brighter, well, I'm going to use a darker color. Kind of darker. Make it a little brownish. And wherever you had blue at, you just go over there with this brownish color. And as you can see, those eyes are actually starting to look pretty good, as well as the skin. We have some right here. Go around there. Now you may have to go around a little bit more than once in order to make sure that you can see the color. All right. But you still don't want it to be too prominent because, again, those blues have to show through. I'm going to go to side view. The side of the ear. Okay. Now, you want to check around and make sure everything's looking real good. Now, Afterwards, blah, afterwards, you go back, choose that same skin color again, and you make it a bit brighter, pinkish kind of, like right about here. Okay, so everywhere that you have flesh, the neck, the lips, and around the cheeks, you go in there, put some pink on it. skin.